Hi everyone, it is Mark Barnes here and today I'm going to do an unboxing and review of this Stereo Airbridge wireless guitar system made by a company called Lakato. A quick disclaimer, Lakato have sent me this unit free of charge to do the review, however they have no say in what goes in the video. So it comes neatly boxed in this tidy little box However, one thing I did notice, nowhere on the box is the brand name Lakato. So I would suggest that they maybe do that to help get their name out there, get their name on the box. To open the box, very simple. Turn it over, there's a little lip here. And then we flip that back and it opens just like that. Inside the box, we've got a little instruction manual. In the middle here, we've got a charging cable. We also have two 3.5mm to 6.5mm jacks. We have got a transmitter module and a receiver module. Okay, and it's nice to see that the brand name Lakato is on clearly on the actual device itself and it's also labelled very clearly I don't know if you can see in view which one's the transmitter and which one's the receiver this is relatively inexpensive the price is around 50 euros so I'm hopeful that this will do the job and it might do the job for you as well so I'm now going to go away and have a quick look at the manual get my Roland Axe Edge and get it connected up and see how I get on. So um, first thing I've noticed is there actually is a jack converter that screws on and off on each of the modules. I notice these are stereo jacks. The converters here are obviously for mono operation because they're mono jacks. I'm going to do my early tests in mono because the current um, wireless system I use is mono only. I am, however, very interested in the fact that I can transmit and receive in stereo. However, I'll need to purchase a couple of splitter leads to test this properly and that may be at the end of this video or in a separate video later on. Another nice feature I've noticed is the charging cable comes with a double USB charger so both modules can be charged at the same time. It does however not come with a USB plug so you'll need to either get hold of a standard sort of phone charger plug or plug it into a computer to charge it. Okay so the unit has came uncharged which is normal I've connected up the charger and it's fairly simple if you notice the red LED means it's low in charge and it is currently charging when it turns blue it means that the device is fully charged I'm going to pause the video just now and I'll give you an indication as to how long the charging time is for the unit I've charged up the device, the receiver charged in about 20 minutes, however I've had the transmitter on charge for over two hours and it's still not going to a blue light. Um, I contacted the manufacturers, they said it should take about an hour and a half to fully charge it, um, but not for me so far. However, I did get impatient and <laughs> I disconnected it and connected it up to my Roland Axe Edge keytar. And as you can see, in the left output, I have the Lakato transmitter. The receiver is plugged into channel one of my Universal Audio interface. So I'm desperate now to hear what it sounds like. So I'll put on an acoustic guitar type patch. And 
as you can hear, it sounds nice and clear across the range of the instrument. Um, I've also had a little walk around the house playing it and it picks up fine from fair distances in different rooms. Let's try a more sort of pad sound. and I'll play a more heavy lead guitar type sound. <laughs> so I'm quite happy with what I'm hearing. I'm going to now plug a cable in instead of using the wireless to see what the difference is like. As you can see, I've just got a standard audio lead plugged into the interface instead. Let's hear how it sounds. And I'll play the other sounds I played as well. So this pad sound. So, so far, I'm really, really actually gobsmacked with how good that these sound. I don't hear any real difference in audio quality using a standard audio lead or using the Lakata wireless. Tomorrow night, though, I'll be testing them at my gig and that will be a bigger test because, first of all, it'll test how long the charge lasts in these. The manufacturer claim they last for five hours of fully charge. I've still not managed to get the transmitter fully charged so once I'm done speaking on video I'm going to put them in charge again. Also will I get interference from the singer's radio mics or in-ear monitors? How far will I be able to stray away from the receiver? And that's all questions that will be answered very shortly. So I've just done the sound check the gig, it sounds really, really clear. In fact, the singer of the band said it sounds clearer than the other wireless. So...
that was a busy weekend of gigging and I had the pleasure of trying out this Licato wireless guitar system with my keytar all weekend and I'd like to talk about my final thoughts, what I think of them and how I got on. First off, sound quality, absolutely top notch, sounded really clear, I get no interference whatsoever from other radio mics or the hotel Wi-Fi or anything like that. Um, these certainly sound really, really good. Um, they held their charge really well. They didn't quite hold their charge for five hours as the manufacturers claim, but I would say you can easily get a good three and a half hours out of them, which is really good. For the price, they are absolutely fantastic. I could buy three sets of these for the price I paid for the current wireless system I use. So if you're in the market, you want to go wireless, but you don't fancy spending 150 to 200 euros doing it, these are a really good option. Sound great and they worked excellent over the weekend for me. Couple of things I would say maybe I don't quite like about them. I'm not a fan of micro USB charging points. I feel they're dead footery. You may have noticed I've got shaky hands. That's because I've got an essential tremor. I was born with it. So it's a little awkward for me plugging in the charging cables. Um, apart from that, as I say, I'm very impressed. And I hope this video has helped you. If you're looking to go wireless, maybe give these a thought. And if you've liked the video, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again sometime.